it's only been a couple hours. Just a reminder, please give the other channel, Examining Kubrick, a chance. All right. With that out of the way, let us get into it. What is the essentials? Well, basically, James has been found guilty of involuntary manslaughter. Quick background. James and Jennifer are the parents of the shooter. And the shooter, who is their son, he's guilty of the shootings directly. So the question is, how much guilt do they have in terms of they could have stopped the shooting if they had been better parents? Obviously, that's a very, very tricky question. But this case is pretty extraordinary. The more and more you look at it, and again, we can never know for sure, but there were many moments and opportunities for them to try to act on the warning signs that their son, to put it mildly, was very disturbed and in love with guns. And they encouraged this. They actively gave their son guns. This is a kid. This is not an adult. But decided, okay, you're responsible enough to give you guns. And once you do that, and if you are pro-gun, which I am as well, that's fine. If you think your children can be entrusted with weapons, fine. But that is a massive, massive responsibility. And once you do that, you have to be extremely careful. They understand what they're doing, follow regulations and all that. And they didn't. They were just incredibly careless, very careless. And you reap what you sow. So their son was clearly not mentally capable of having these firearms and using them responsibly. And the inevitable happened with a school shooting. And many innocent people were dead. Many innocent people injured. Again, yes, the person principally responsible has been punished, but it is a legitimate question. Should the parents also be held responsible? And the wife a while back was found guilty, and James is now being found guilty. There was really no tension here. We all knew he was going to be found guilty. The only question here is now really the severity of the sentence. And I'm going to lean on Zach, and he admits he's not technically able to say with certainty, but if they follow the usual rules with sentencing, now that both have been found guilty, at the very least, both of them will serve eight years in jail. At the very least. Now, I'm sure some people think that is too light a sentence. So they could serve 15 years, but again, it could be they will serve more. And again, these are very severe sentences, but I'm sure some people say, go further, give them the death penalty. This is a case that is very raw. There's a lot of emotions on both sides. And there are no easy answers because we have all these innocent people dead. And yes, even though the shooter was caught and is now put away, people are going to be asking these questions about the wider community, about the police, about the school, counselors, so on and so forth. Friends, could nobody intervene to stop the killings? It is a very difficult question. And as parents, if you give your son a firearm or firearms, you have to take that responsibility very seriously. And if you don't, there are now severe consequences. I mean, I can only say from my own personal experience, growing up, Columbine was an exception. Now, it is so normal just to hear about school shootings. So clearly, many parents and other communities are just very tired of it, and they want to lash out. So these are very harsh sentences, but they are fair, I think, at the end of the day. Still, there is definitely the potential for abuse that we're going to just get witch hunts and try to find anybody to blame for these school shootings. However, this is a pretty extraordinary case, but yet these are the parents and there were warning signs and they acted in such a foolish manner. I mean, they tried to flee the scene when they were caught. That was just stupid. So these are just not good parents. These are tough sentences, but at the end of the day, I do think it's legitimate to find them guilty. But what this means in the future for school shootings, gun regulations, yes, uh, Pandora's box has been opened, but it was probably inevitable that we were going to go down this road. So... It's a very sad day, but at the same time, you can't say these are unjust verdicts, just very, very harsh justice.